catalase test to detect if the bacteria is capable of undergoing aerobic respiration or not. I'm going to add on the colonies directly few drops of hydrogen peroxide. Just as a witness, this is one drop of hydrogen peroxide alone on the Petri dish. It won't do anything. It won't bubble on its own. But on the colonies of Bacillus, Staphylococcus, and E. coli, I can see bubbles, which means that those bacteria produce catalase on their own, and they are breaking down the H2O2. They are breaking down the H2O2 into water and oxygen. See bubbles formation? These are bubbles of oxygen. Therefore, our three bacterial cultures are catalase positive, and they are positive for aerobic respiration. In the next test, I will show you the results of uh, starch hydrolysis. Starch hydrolysis. This is the growth of my bacterial cultures on starch petri dishes. E. coli, Bacillus staphylococcus are growing nicely on starch petri dishes. Now I will add iodine on those petri dishes to detect if the bacteria has digested the starch or not. So I will flood the area around the colonies with iodine. and I will wait for a few seconds. I need a white background to be able to judge the results. A little bit more iodine. So, dark blue color with iodine indicates the presence of starch, which means starch was not digested. A yellow color around the colony indicates that the bacteria was capable of digesting the starch. Let's focus on the petri dishes one by one. Here, E. coli. This is E. coli. If you look at the area around the colonies, all the way around the colonies, it's dark blue. The color is dark blue, which indicates that starch is still there and it was not digested by E. coli. If you look here at Bacillus, if we could focus closer on the petri dish, if you look at the area around the colonies, you can see a yellow zone around the colony. Just follow the colony itself, and it's like somebody has carried a highlighter and highlighted the zone around the colony, which means that Bacillus was capable of hydrolyzing the starch around it. Bacillus is amylase positive. In the case of Staphylococcus, look, no matter how close I get to the Petri dish, if you follow the area, regardless of the fact that the colony itself is orange, this does not indicate anything. Look at the area around the colony. There is no hydrolysis zone. It's all dark blue, indicating the presence of starch, and therefore the bacteria was incapable of producing amylase. So E. coli was incapable of producing amylase. Bacillus was capable. Look at the highlighted uh, zone around the colonies. And Staphylococcus was incapable.